Hello everyone, tarot reading for today, daily tarot for December 28th. So set your intentions and let's see what the cards have to say. We're going to lay out three cards as usual. Just a few more days till the end of this month, so let's... Pull a card, set that intention for December 28th, 2020. Alright. First card, second, and third. Which card do you vibe with? Do you feel that you want to pick one card to focus strongly on that message? That you'll be receiving the entire message in this reading. Yes, we're almost at the end of the year. This year is proving to want to go out with a bang. It's just like, wow, it's really a rat year. It's really a, a year that we have to focus on the meaning of four, right? Stability. So, you know, what stability is and what it feels like when there's no stability so definitely a year of lessons and what is going on WTF year <laughs> so let's start with the first card Ooh, we have the seven of swords and the seven of swords is about feeling like you can't trust someone or something, right? So not really sure about the information or what's going on. And usually when this card comes up, it's just taking it slow to really gather all the information. And a lot of times people are filled with so much opinion and sometimes we just have to stop and say, okay, what's really going on? And realize that you can't just get a fast answer because we live in a faster paced world now. So we still have to take our time to make sure that we have the full story, to make sure that, you know, we are just creating better relationships, better understanding within ourselves too. Um, the card can represent a betrayal or some kind of deception. And the sevens have to do with having faith in, in this swords, the faith in in words and how we use words right and with that it we have to have mastered growth before we get to the sevens in the card so we got to remember that so what are you experiencing or what do you notice today that you have to slow down and make sure you get the the, the full story because things are usually not what they seem and sometimes they are the Prince of Wands, okay? So I believe in this deck, the Prince of Wands, ref the Princess of Wands refers to the Knights. I hope I'm, I'm right. Um, so we're going to take this as moving forward, and we're going to take this as, you know, not rushing to conclusion, which kind of plays on the Seven of Swords. So try not to rush to conclusions. Try to um, be firm but also be patient you want to move forward you want to be in motion you want to rush um but at the same time you're filled with all this energy and you're filled with all this passion to really figure things out so hold on to that passion but be wise about it and here comes the temperance and the temperance is reminding us that you know, we might have our hopes and our dreams, we might have an idea of what's going on, we might have um, a direction that we want to go in, but we can't rush it. It's going to take time. It's, it's going to be a process of patience, balance, and really listening to ourselves, really focusing on who you truly are and, and allow that to guide you rather than all the noise around you so it's a it's a it's a journey that you're gonna have to put yourself on of really being calm and realizing what the full story is because nothing is 
exactly what it seems and there's many layers to a particular situation so not rushing to conclusion today all right so thank you guys so much for watching click like subscribe enjoy the yearly videos for 2021 and i will see you guys next time